Hi, I'm Fanny from Shoemix, and in this video today, we'd like to introduce more about one of our products, cinnamon. Cinnamon is one of our favorite spice, and a very familiar flavor. You might have tasted it on the porridge, in a bun, or sprinkled it on the hot chocolate. But have you ever wondered where it comes from? It's perhaps a little bit surprising. But this fragrant spice is actually the bark of the trees. We have three main types of cinnamon: secret cinnamon, split cinnamon, and broken cinnamon. The moisture of our cinnamon is maximum 30.5 percent, with the length and thickness different for each type. It has natural color, has spicy taste, well dry, clean, and no fungus. Not like inside, and multi, and incurring crap. So now, let's see how we produce cinnamon for exporting purpose. Vietnamese cinnamon is indigenous to northern Vietnam and comes from the inner bark of an evergreen cassia tree. More Vietnamese cinnamon is cultivated from seedling and grown on small farms. The highest quality cinnamon comes from the bark of trees that are at least 15 years old and begins to decline in quality in trees that are over 25. Cinnamon trees prefer slightly dry soil and full sun exposure. Cinnamon trees do best in soil that is acid with a pH of 4.5 to 5.5 being the idea for the tree to produce the best cinnamon. To harvest cinnamon, farmers will cut down the tree and remove the inner bark from both the trunk and the branches of the tree. The highest quality cinnamon is that which is gathered from the part of the trunk that is closest to the ground. The quality of the bark decreases the higher up you get from the base of the tree, with the lowest quality cinnamon being found in the branches. The bark of the tree also grows thinner up as the higher up you go. Our workers work really hard in the forest to get the best quality of cinnamon. The bark is collected and the outer bark is peeled away from the inner bark. The inner bark is cut into 3 inch pieces and dried. To ensure the quality for home cooking container for customer, our workers and our manager always take care of the best quality of the production. While drying in the sun over the course of several days, the bark will naturally curl up into quills. Once dry, separated, and shorted for quality, the quills are packaged for export. After packaging, we will load to into the container for customer, 20 feet or 40 feet, depending on the requirement of the customers. So, if you have any inquiries, please kindly feel free to contact us. I'm Miss Chinese from Dreamix. Thank you so much for listening.